Well, hello again. Uh, now we will start the, today's webinar. So first of all, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is uh, David Blanco. I'm a mechanical engineer from the technical support department, or CYPE. And today I'm going to be in charge of this webinar. This webinar about our building services or building facilities installations, applications in building design, uh, about um, in general about our CYP MEP, MEP suite. So, uh, well, if you if you have any questions or queries during the the webinar, or even if you prefer at the end, you will uh, write it on the chat, and I will try to answer all the questions, all the queries or doubts um, at the end of the webinar. Okay. So, well, I I'm supposed most of you with you. You attended the other day's webinar. Uh, one of my colleagues, Afonso, did a webinar about SIP architecture. Uh, and today we are going to continue this series of webinar, and in particular about the MEP suite of, of our company. First of all, well, I'm going to introduce a little bit the company, well, just a, a, little, a little, a quick introduction. Afterwards, I'm going to show you the well, what we, are, what we are promoting in these recent years, the open BIM workflow, and the CDE we have developed, the platform being Center. And finally, I will show you some of the tools, some of the applications we have developed uh, about MEP um, building facilities, okay? So, well, as you can see on the screen, we are a software, uh, software development, co development company called CYPE. We have more than all, almost 40 years of history, more than 35 years of history in software development. And nowadays we, we accomplish or we, we try to cover different domains in building design uh, structural for structural uh, engineers, civil engineers, for MEP engineers, for management and bill of materials or bill of quantities, um, uh, tasks or jobs in building design, management, etc. And uh, nowadays we have developed more, more than 150 applications. We we are in the team more in between uh, all the departments. We are more than 200 people in the, the company. Our headquarters are located in Spain, in, the, in a little village in the southeast of Spain. And we have more than a network of more than 20 resellers all over the world. So we uh, we have a presence in in all of the continents of the regions of the of the of the planet, and uh, we have uh, more than one hundred thousand users all over the world. In between the different countries, we have presence, as you can see here, more than sixty countries. <clears throat> well, uh, in these past recent years, we I am sure that you already know about BIM, BIM building information modeling. Modeling. So we, what we are promoting in these recent years, what we have been developing is different applications for the different building design domains, for structures, management, MEP, even in these uh, recent uh, years for architecture applications also, databases for course databases, documentation for the project, etc. And in the core of this uh, process or all of these applications, we have the this CDE we have developed also called BIM Sabetot Center. Well, all the applications should be, uh, in, well, there will be an interoperability being between the applications. Okay. So everything is going to be related in the core of the BIM Sabetot Center platform. And uh, what we are um, developing overall is the interoperability in this platform. Obviously, uh, I haven't said, but uh, oh, it's open. This workflow is open because we are working with um, standard formats, open formats. We are not being, we won't work with uh, native formats uh, in order to guarantee the the security of the project, the the knowledge and the know-how of each of the specialists in the in the building uh, team members of each project. So we are going to share in the platform only uh, standard and open formats. Overall, as you can see, uh, there are many advantages of this technology and this open formats overflow, but overall is the information durability in the product life cycle of the management of the, of the buildings. We try to guarantee that all the information of the project is going to be stored and is going to be guaranteed that in the future we will be able to open no matter how 
or no matter which uh, software we use. It's not a property. These open formats are not property of any software developers, not Zype, not uh, Autodesk, not uh, Bentley, etc. Okay. Um, also, what we are in the core, as I said, this is the platform, the BIM Center Center, and in this open formats, we are working with IFC files. IFC is the standard formats uh, according to an ISO code for 3D, for uh, building information modeling. And also, we will have another extra, uh, extra um, formats, yeah, open also, PDF for documents, DXF for drawings, um, blueprints, etc., uh, VC3 for quantities, GLTF, the GLTF is the is the huge format that the all of the big uh, uh, big companies like uh, Unity, like Microsoft, etc., work with the GLTF format for 3D. We mix the the construction sector with the even if with the video game sector or any sector which uses renders and uh, games or or 3D representation and BCF, BCCF for the errors and requirements interchange or interoperability in between applications. As I said, all of these, um, all of the stakeholders of the building design projects, even the developer, the client, the engineer, the BIM manager, the architect, all the different uh, uh, participants and stakeholders of the project will be part, uh, attending or will have access to the platform and we, we will start the workflow in between exporting the results of the, for example, the architect to the BIM manager to the BIM server setter platform. And then all the engineers, all the specialists will take this information in real time. And we will be able to work in parallel in real time with the same uh, 3D model uh, with different applications. And each one will be responsible for each of its own uh, speciality. Okay. Of, of, uh, of course, after all this work, all these tasks of the different engineers or the different specialists, we will come back or we will return the information in open formats to the platform, okay? In this manner, we will consolidate the original 3D model with the, we will be, be making a, like a federated model, IFC model of different results of different specialities and we will consolidate the beam model uh, not only with the architectural modeling, but also with the plumbing design, structural design, uh, lighting, electrical, etc. Okay, so this is uh, more or less, well, I'm going to pass because this I think is a theoretical. Okay, so this is the workflow we, we are promoting uh, from our company. Uh, normally we will start from a physical 3D model, okay? This 3D model will be generated by any other main, any beam models of the market, like uh, us or even us. For example, we have three modelers, like the other day you, you saw with my colleague, you saw Site Architecture, but also we have IFC Builder, free, uh, really free modelers, in order to, get, to provide our customers, our clients, the possibility to uh, develop their own 3D model. Also, overall, of course, you can also work with other beam models of the market, like uh, Archicad or like uh, Revit or like uh, Bentley, uh, Allplan, etc. You can work with this 3D model, store the information of this 3D model in the platform, in this cloud CD environment, and everyone is going to be, all the specialized uh, agents, all the engineers and other specialized agents will be using their own applications, type applications or other software developers, as you will see uh, just in a while in the platform. And we will be uh, working and developing our own specialties, structural design, lighting design, plumbing design, uh, fire protection design, etc. And we will generate our own results, our own reports, shem schemas, drawings, um, even cost estimating, specification, code compliance, etc. And we will incorporate those documents if we want even we can get obviously in different formats directly from the tools, but also we, we can return the information back to the project, to the BIM project in the platform and consolidate the BIM model. In this way, there are a lot of advantages. We avoid a lot of inconvenience in the future because we are working in a collaborative manner, in a multitask and um, multi-user manner from the very beginning of the building design project. So we avoid a lot of um, future problems, inconvenience, clashes. Uh, ob obviously, we save time, we save resources, we save costs. Okay. So this is one of the targets. Also, 
we will see another advantages of the platform just in a in a few very few months. As I said, IFC Builder or a SEP architecture from site modelers or other models like Revit, even we have developed a plugin for Revit. We could also export the results or be updated in real time. It is very important. Even if at any moment the BIM manager or the architect changes the physical 3D model, everyone is going to be updated in real time and we will be able to change our analysis uh, calculations, our analytical models we will be able to update it and change our calculations in real time from our tools. Another uh, point of start is, would be with IFC Uploader. We could upload some other 3D models from Bentley, Icosim, Oldplan, RCCAD, as I said. Okay. So this is the BIM Center, Center uh, the, the CDE environment. I want to explain just in, in a moment. Just I'm going to finish this. And let's go to the platform so this is uh, you could search the bim center in our in your in google or directly introduce the website obviously it's um a, there are different plans different modalities there are but i th i think there's enough with the free modality in order to start there is enough plenty of projects plenty of team members of collaborators and um, space in order to start but there are payment modalities that you can use, but in order to start this enough with the free modality, the free plan. Nowadays, we are have more than, as you can, as you could see here, the statistic, more than 60,000 users, more than 140,000 projects, and more, almost 200,000 downloaded applications, okay? So, uh, in order to be in, in the platform, you could only need an email. With an email, you register in the process here, with an email, I use you create your your own account with a user of your email, a password, and you are enter the platform. I'm going to access now. Obviously, there are uh, also this platform is all, all obviously available for mobile applications for your iPads, your tablets, your mobiles, your iPhones, your smartphones, etc. Okay, it's available also. No, no, not only a desktop application. So this CD environment. As I said, the first uh, the first utility or functionality of this platform is to be like a BIM project platform a store in order to collaborate with uh, all the intervenants, all the uh, stakeholders of the project. So it's like a, a store application, a store platform. Also, also it's uh, like a professional network, like a social network. You can create your own contacts, your own team members, your own groups in order to collaborate with people. You can, there is also another line of, of business in this platform this to, in order to get certificate, professional certificates like a BIM manager, like ACP pro certificates, like lead certification, etc. in order that the institutions and associations of all over the world are going to be entering in their application or the platform. Also, there is a store application. There is a store functionality like Google Play or uh, uh, iOS store you can search for applications because our applications, even developed by us, by SAIP or by other software developers, they are all here in this um, in this platform and also in our website, but you can search all the applications here. Okay, for example, uh, you can search there are applications for, well, new, new features or newer applications, also from manufacturers. We have developed ad hoc uh, tools and also open beam systems for a particular product of different manufacturers or suppliers. We have free applications. We have more popular structural analysis, bill of quantities, electrical, HVAC systems, telecommunications plumbing, etc. So here, for example, if you want to see there is different domains here by default, you can search by name, by reference, by country, therefore code compliance for different countries, different languages, etc. Even software, as I said, I insist, on this, not only developed by by SAIP, but also by other uh, software developers. They can we can have arranged uh, agreements or collaboration with other software developers in order to get inside the platform. It's also uh, available or possible. Fire protection, for example, if I search for fire protection, we will see different different applications for site fire design in order to get to design all the evacuation paths, all the compartmentation of the different rooms on my building. Um, all the fire protection elements that we want to provide according to the code compliance of each country, of each region. Sci fire hydraulic systems for fire extinguishing installation like um, uh, sprinklers mainly, 
but also for firehose reels or other uh, distinguishing systems. Uh, there are, for example, this particular tool for uh, for France, for uh, France and for for Spain. Also, Sapphire FTS, for example, for Sapphire Dynamic Simulation. Even here, you can, or obviously, you can download the application. You can consult any different if information about the application. You can consult some images, and some of the applications here you have some videos. For example, this video, according to a little video of showing this um for example let's go let's move on this uh, fire dynamic simulations is going to according to the location or distribution of the fire loads in my building i could get a fire dynamic simulation of a well uh, dynamic evolution of a fire in case in a building we use an american solver an american journal developed by nist uh, an american institution and also we use smoke view in order to get the simulation obviously there are some tools of mep and uh, site tools that are we have developed our own solver our own engine calculation engine but other tools uses international very common worldwide um, uh, engines or solvers all over the world in this case fire dynamic simulation this american solver okay so, for example, as you can see here, Sapphire FDS, Sapphire Design, Hydraulic Systems, etc. Different applications for fire protection. Um, what else? So, we have seen different functionality, obviously, for campus versions, for educational purposes, for, for students, for universities, for institutions. We have also an education version for this platform in order to get the collaboration with this institution. And mainly, overall, for uh, projects. Even you can search for um, uh, recommended projects. If you have a profile, a portfolio of a back, real background of your experience, doing, for example, you have a you have very good experience in waveless labs in structural design, maybe someone in the network is uh, searching a developer or a promoter is uh, searching for a specialist in uh, waveless lab design for a structural design. We can uh, make like a tender, like a a public uh, offer of a project and uh, some people in the in the network or some companies or you're like self-employed people maybe you can promote as a specialist for this pro for this project and you can pro make a proposal this and this the promoter and the owner of the project can accept the different proposals according to the own criteria okay so uh, in the projects that way this is where we create the new projects where we store the projects for example i'm going to open a project which i collaborate with other colleagues of the company this is the Bauhaus school a very typical example of uh, beam modelers uh, and this uh, in this project for some you will see different tabs where we will consult the information a dashboard where we will consult the information about well some text description about the project some information if it's visible to all users you can search in the network this project is visible to all users closed for collaboration request or open according to you this is the role i have in this project for example there are different roles the project activity as you can see here well in this case is not very good productivity lately uh, management for example the work team members how many people requests proposed IFC files for different open requests that have been proposed, latest changes, the traceability of the projects, who has changed anything, when, and uh, how or what what have, has he done or has she done in this sense. Files shared in the project, 19 IFC files, 14 PDFs, 30 GLTFs, 3 BC3, etc. So with this uh, information of the dashboard you can search even you can search with a colleague with a collaborator with your client we can search a, even the project without being in the inside the platform even we we'll search via um, eg gmail well via your email via uh, your mobile applications we are uh, different means okay so here this is architectural design for example of this project here uh, well there are many many tools for example in order to make cuts here we can make different cuts in order to see the internal part of the building. For example, we can rotate, we can search for different elements here, double click and see information. What else can I do? For example, let's activate some uh, of our specialty design. This is the architectural model. I'm going to make transparency here and let's see the structure. For example, 
and also for example as you can see here HVAC design urbanism or vertical connections lighting analysis for example many many different elements for example what else can I activate here apart from a structure um, I could activate well maybe yeah now for example let's see uh, what HVAC taking installation for example also in this project and we will see the information in the 3d is depending on the project we will have much more or less time uh, to see the information in the 3d okay but in this case uh, we imagine that all, all the roles of the project we will be able to see the information in the in the platform itself uh, with the HVAC installation the structure the all, all that has been designed and introduces in the project we will be able to see on consult in the 3d or even in files we will see just in a few seconds when it's finished and we will see the information here for example I'm going to yes you can see here this is the structure and the HVAC design well maybe I have activated the structure it's here complicated a little bit here and for example if I double click here I will see the information of this element. This is a heat recovery thermal unit for dynking installation with this po uh, nominal power, average power, reference, etc. We could consult, consult also the information for the, uh, the structure. If I double click at any point, this is a column with this type of rectangular with the concrete, uh, still reinforced concrete, etc. Well, that's even if we could animate, make animation of the structure make some other uh, for example let's deactivate this the structure and let's activate for example the lighting design um, for example lighting analysis okay this is much more quicker maybe the structure was a little bit high high performance okay so so this is the lighting analysis of this project and here we can make a zoom um, for example consult some lighting features here um let's see if i can i don't know if yes the light and fixes are here if i double click here well in this case no information sometimes depending on the the date it has been exported there is no information but you could see here the photometric curves and the elements okay so where else apart from gltf we could see the files the files of the project here you can console all the files of the elements of the different uh, for example for lighting analysis that was was i was showing you we could console the calculation annex in pdf directly here the gltf in 3d the 3d view we have seen before and here you we can consult everyone inside the project can consult the information of the calculations this is very nice because you can download the pdf or seen online in the cloud server solution or even download it or wherever you want okay so all the information is here the quantities the drawings etc for all the different applications the different designs okay a structure etc and the work team we can consult which members we have here with different roles which person has developed any particular um uh, specialist or, or domain or million design the work team all the team members here with the different roles and the assigned or attribute areas the roles the professional activity etc and the issues and requirements is also nice because we can consult here some interpretability communication between applications for example uh, someone uh, this is my colleague Esperanza has developed a water equipment uh, installation and uh, it's providing the platform that someone has to do an electrical outlet for this appliance this is something that is related between applications all uh, for example with the open model checker that um, you will see um, i think tomorrow we will see in another webinar uh, someone has to make that this window for example is not adjusted at the same position as other windows of the building and someone has um, provided this issue in order to someone that uh, has to solve okay so we are, we are going to close this and we are going to start so before just before the webinar I have created a new project for example uh, for today this international MEP webinar I'm just to show you this is a city hall this is an example on IFC Builder and I'm going to move on to the uh, applications remember 
uh, in the you can download the applications IFC Builder for example you saw the other day SAP architecture IFC Builder is another free modeler that you can use or if you start with Revit or with other models it's uh, perfectly normal and you could just start from other BIM models so with IFC Builder is here in the open BIM tab here is the application I have developed this model in the 3D view you will see this is a very Maybe in the future we can make some more webinars or seminars about the details of this software. This is also nice. You can activate the shadows according to the orientation and the latitude of the location, the solar hour. You could activate the solar, the solar hour time and the solar trajectory, the sun path for this building. This is also nice. And you could see the performance uh, on the level of energy analysis or energy dynamics simulation. This is nice in order to see the, the behavior of the of the of this building okay so this is a um, uh, very simple software that we we work as a store by story by story or floor by floor we develop in 2d but obviously as you have seen we develop we are modeling the building in 3d and here we are not uh, providing anything but the dimensional and architectural model the walls is only the thickness for example and the, the slabs also the same you will see that it's only the thickness of the different slab, the slab on ground floor, or the roof, or the floor between the internal floor slabs, etc. And also, for example, for the windows and the doors, obviously we will be providing only the dimensions, the height above the ground, and the dimension, the width and the height, for example. The spaces, uh, if we did some space, for example, this assembly hall, it's only there are side, different typologies, and here we are not going to provide anything. It's only a type of room, a type of a space that, uh, after all, in the energy analysis or acoustic analysis, we will be providing the different parameters and internal gains and acoustic parameters, etc. Okay, so once I make the design in this uh, 3D uh, modeler, as you can see here, architecture at top, the project with the orientation, the floors and groups, etc. There are some also some free, uh, if anyone is interested in some free courses about this tool, IFC Builder, uh, online, and anyone can do it. So it's very, it's a very uh, simple software. And once we make the 3D design, we are going to export to the project. So this is something I've done. We export to the project selection with my account. I have exported to this project I have created in the BIM Server Center platform. So what? remember the workflow, I'm going to export the 3D modeling and I'm going to export it in IFC format remember that we are sharing is open formats standard formats in order to guarantee the security the durability of the project in order to avoid problems in the future only open formats so once it's exported and here you can see that it's exported as 3D model already previously I have I have done it I'm going to show you with any particular tools uh, what what the information we are getting from this 3D model. For example, let's go to another tool. This is Cypathon Loads for thermal analysis tools in the store. For example, uh, from the store manager, I'm going to show you quickly. For uh, thermal analysis, we will have some, some particular, uh, for example, thermal Sorry, I I'm going to search by domain. Maybe it's it's better than analysis. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what happens. Maybe it's my internet connection. Oh well, I'm going to search by name. Cypathern. Okay. Sorry, Cypathern. Okay, now Cypathrum. Okay, from Cypathrum we have Cypathrum loads. Cypathrum, uh, for example, E plus is a very good software for some dynamic energy dynamic simulation. Cypathrum Fujitsu for the particular process of Fujitsu. Improvement Plus in order to make energy audits, comparisons between different simulations. Other software particular tools for different countries and code compliance. But Cypathrum loads, Cypathrum E plus, and Empowerment Plus and an international level is a very, very good software. So in Cypathon Loads, what I want you just to show you, if I go to, I create a new um, 
a new project for a thermal load analysis. This is in order to get the thermal load calculations, the peak load. If I select the project, and afterwards I will I will open the, the this example is already done. If I select the project from my from my list of projects I have created or I collaborate with, because maybe I'm the owner of the project or I'm just an in and a participant of the project, a team member, which I'm going to just develop the uh, thermal analysis. Okay, so I'm going to develop the international MEP webinar, accept here. Sorry, I have two screens. I'm going to move just in a few seconds the 3D model here. Sorry, it's over there. So this is the 3D modeler. Okay. Uh, here is the library for typologies. Sorry, I'm going to establish here. Well, the libraries. This is well, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to director for searching typologies. Imported the edges, the shadows, etc. And now the software is reading all the elements of the BIM project. Of the sorry, of the BIM model, the IFC model. So here we will see the importation of the model. But obviously here we have this distribution of the, the project with the different floors and groups and the different rooms with the information of the rooms, walls, floors, as you can here see here highlighted. And everything it's imported on the level of dimensions, position in the space, orientation, etc. But what we have to provide is the, the parameters, the characteristics of the libraries. For the spaces, I have to provide the different internal games if it's occupied or not, heated and cooled, and the criteria of ventilation, internal heat gains for lighting, people, um, ventilation, infiltration, just in case, etc. Okay. So this is the the different elements that we 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 have to provide for uh, each space or each room. And for the constructive elements, the same thing. We have the walls or the slabs, internal partitions, etc. So we will have uh, the different uh, importation uh, walls. There are ASHRAE handbook fundamentals, as you can see here, and the different stat walls, insulation, snell insulation, etc. This is pre some predefined walls, or you can even grade layer by layer. Okay, as you can see here, uh, different materials, different. Um, libraries from different countries you can create your own materials your own layers even from a, any manufacturer or supplier from your local market you can create it and develop it so in this way you can compose all your walls your slabs even you can process all the thermal bridges if you want to get, take into consideration the thermal bridges in the calculation the shadings etc this uh, uh, job is well in this example is finished i'm going to show you the city hall finished this is the process to read the 3D model and uh, provide the different elements. So this is already done, the office with the different elements. Even I can make a schedules for the daily profiles, for the ventilation criteria, etc. Even you can uh, use this button, help buttons from uh, ASHRAE criteria, and you could use this. Once you provide the spaces, the facades, the constructive elements, as you can see here, edit, and I can I have created these elements layer by layer, or maybe I have introduced from representative wall types from ASHRAE or wherever I want. The linear thermal bridges, I can uh, even create uh, thermal bridges one by one with different criteria, or I can process the edges uh, globally for the whole job. There is an automatic edge processing in the software. So once I have done this, I pass. I move on to the thermal loads, and here is where I establish the location data. For example, this is established here in this uh, location, but I can move this or change the location here. You could uh, use the ASRI weather data we were, or even you can create your own particular uh, outdoor weather conditions. You could introduce manually once and create your own libraries if you want. Or you could use Azure Data Viewer that is uh, 8,000 locations all over the world from weather climatic uh, climate stations um, for any region. And for example, North America, you could consult from Canada. There are many, many different 
state, province, and station names. There are many, many all over North America, for example. For Asia, you could uh, have different um, different countries and different villages all over uh, for Asia, even for West Southwest Pacific. Also, you have Indonesia, Malaysia, etc. So you have these uh, locations you accept and it will import all the locations here, all the weather data claim in climatic conditions. Once you have provided it, you update the results and we will analyze according to this hypothesis of calculations. I have created in this case two groups, uh, two thermal zones for this uh, job and the software is, will be provided the whole calculation. Uh, the complete report for each zone, for example, I can consult here and see the details. As you can see here, the units, you can change the unit in, you can work in, in IP system, international system, etc. You can share via PDF with a colleague with our technical support department. You can export via PDF, docx, txt, html, etc. This is all detailed uh, space by space, all the internal gains on the losses and gains of each particular for external, for the external elements, the outdoor elements, for the constructive elements, for the internal gates, for ventilation, for occupancy, uh, etc. You can print in paper, or export in different formats. Even you can go and study a particular group, a particular space or room. Even you can consult the theoretical analysis here, the overview calculations, sensitive cooling loads monthly internal heat gains for the different particular for a particular wall you can consult the cooling load the condensation time series factors we use ASRAI methodology methodology in order to calculate here the rtcm method from ASRAI. so here for thermal loads and once you get the results of the peak load of your building you export the results to the back to the project okay this is something you can do once you get the peak loads for example you could move on to a particular open bin system for HVAC, for example, open bin Daikin, it's inside the platform, you can download this, this application. This is from the city hall, for example, and here I have provided some outdoor units from Daikin, from these elements, VRV or aerothermal elements. So I have provided the outdoor units, connect or branch the outdoor units with a vertical and distribute to the different internal units. Here, for example, we can deactivate the template, the DXF, this is the 3D model, okay, I have connected in this example. And here you have the elements, all the piping here, the gas liquid piping, and the internal units. If I double click here, I will see the different models uh, got from the catalog from Daikin, developed in, in accordance with this manufacturer. There are OpenBeam Toshiba, OpenBeam Fujitsu, OpenBeam Bosch, Maidea, OpenBeam, um, uh, Panasonic, etc. There are different manufacturers, and each manufacturer has their own open beam systems with the the real representation, the actual representation, and the calculations of all the parameters here. We can consult the checks. Obviously, here normally when we get, um, uh, for example, each for each room, normally if you have done thermal loads, all the loads will be coming from the thermal loads analysis we have done with certain loads or even if you don't pass with that, you can introduce manually here. And then you can consult or automatic size or consult and you will be seeing the check, sorry, the checks clicking on here. You can consult the checks and see if they match the requirements, the requirements or not of the different rooms for the different Daikin system in this case. What else can you obtain here? A, VRV, a material list. This is also nice because you can consult all the all the quantities for this Daikin system. For example, the number of outdoor units, the indoor units, the piping, the branches, the white branches in this case for Daikin system, the refrigerant piping, all the quantities. This is also very, very nice. And the VRV uh, justification report from Daikin according to the to the manufacturer here you have all the checks for the project compliance, for the different equipments in the pro, uh, provided or placed in the in the project. And the schema, obviously this is also nice, the schema of the VRV or VRF system we have designed in this job. The schema also, you can get it here, uh, apart from the reports, 
and the schema you will be able to export in PDF or in uh, the DXF or the WG format as you as you wish. Also, the drawings, it's a, a software you can get the drawings in 2D, uh, DXF or DWG, for example, uh, the scale, floor plans, for example, let's represent the floor one and two, for example, DXF or DWG format, PDF or printed in paper, you can add a title block, particular from uh, by default by type or establish set the layers. And here you could see the details of the drawings and you could export it to a DXF or DWG drawing. Okay, this is also nice. What else can you do with in thermal analysis? There is also another tool, this is very interesting, Cypothermy Plus. Imagine when you get the loads, when you get the HVAC selection equipment, and you have done the design of HVAC, you could go and make the energy dynamic simulation with Cypothermy Plus. That we use is, uh, what we use is uh, Energy Plus engine solver, it is a very powerful and very commonly worldwide uh, solver for demand and consumption of energy for in order to make a an energy a really energy behavior of the building performances here you can provide well all the spaces and constructive elements similar to separate loads all the zones you can establish the terminal units you can introduce fan coils you can introduce air honey units you can introduce rooftops um wherever other aerothermal units, hydronic systems for with boilers or chill for chillers. Also, you can make a cold water production systems with um, water cold system. Also, uh, direct expansion with those uh, with HVRV, etc. There are many, many different systems that you could provide here in order to make a, an energy dynamic simulation. Here, the location data, we use Energy Plus, and we use the weather climatic conditions files, EPW for Energy Plus. Even you could generate, a simulate, if you have a, a, a renewable energy installation, for example, for photovoltaic or something like that, you could make the energy defined by your energy renewable uh, production system, okay? And here, in Analysis tab, we could consult the results of demand of energy. If I haven't missed the results, they was they was already calculated before. I will show you. Well, did you can see on the screen the results directly on the screen? And well, if I analyze just to show the results, I will see the reports in order to show you the reports that are very interesting. <laughs> For energy demand and consumption. Here in the demand report, okay, that's right. Here is the demand report of energy of my building. Here we can consult the demand for heating and cooling. This is a summary. This is a balance, energy balance, and a graphical balance or a numerical, numerical table. And here you can consult the different details. This is also very, very nice. With the evolution of the temperatures, the energy demand of each monthly demand uh, with the different contributions and losses for each thermal zone of the building. Or obviously, you can even the same, all the reports or the drawings you can generate here and the consumption according to the equipment with your uh, active systems. Here, you can make the consumption with the electricity, natural gas, auto consumed monthly with the different systems that are going to um, uh, make the, the to cover those requirements to meet the requirements of the the energy demand of the different thermal zones of the building. Okay. Also for domestic hot water production, we could do design the domestic hot water systems and uh, cover the possible demand of energy of the production hot, domestic hot water system of the building. What else? So uh, changing of the subject or issue, for example, acoustic analysis. We have this Acubat by Side uh, software. This you can some of the tools you can search here in Cypherm, for example, hydro um, bridges for thermal bridges and for condensations. For MEP, you can search for some of the tools. Uh, we will see now. Uh, Acubat by Side is for acoustic analysis for different uh, for the soundproof insulation and sound insulation and proofing with the different 
rooms, for example, this building. This is the modeling of the building. We have uh, developed this software with the CSTV institu French institution. This is a very powerful Acubat library um, of constructive solutions. Here you could consult a very huge database of constructive solutions, for example, gradings from different manufacturers. We have the information, the description of each constructive solution, the uh, standard reduction index from a uh, lab test or from the uh, uh, calculations here for the different frequencies. This is a band, third band octave frequency method we use in acoustic analysis. And here you, with this library, you can provide the different constructive solutions, attributing or assigning this solution. You could even introduce furniture or equipment, even uh, some air inlets or certain layers for the different rooms of the spaces of your building. And we, you could make the calculations here in Analyze. Once you have provided all the elements, if we analyze again, well, you will see the summary report here. This is the summary, analysis summary, which number of rooms meet the requirements, which number fails, a, history, a histogram here with the summary, uh, with acoustic parameters. Here with this software, you can simulate any regulation. I haven't said it, but in general data, there are some pretty presets, some pretty full regulations, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian, Brazilian. Obviously, if in the future we, we develop more, uh, there are more interesting future uh, code compliance, we can develop more flags. But even you can create your own regulations. In the interaction between spaces, you can establish the limits or the, the requirements between spaces. And also you can establish the type of, uh, well, the design options, and the type of spaces here for acoustic analysis. Okay, here you can edit. And what is a protected uh, room? This is which acts from outdoor sound, 30 de decibels, sound conditioning, if it's going to be calculated, I'm going to calculate reverberation time or not, the equipment noise, etc. So you can re really simulate any regulations or codes all over the world. Here you analyze and you can consult the compliance. For example, in this room, we can consult the details. You can get here the reports and details of each calculations for uh, on graphical level with these graphs or even with these tables. All the formula used in the third bad non tariff method. And also, if there is not requirement, uh, there is something that is not met with this impact sound pressure level, for example, you can see this lateral flanking um, uh, analysis that you have to provide, analyze as acoustic engineer, and see which is the problem in this case, and which methodology of which measure of improvement you can provide in the software or in the project in order to, uh, to solve this issue. Uh, some results reports, uh, for example, uh, Liu spaces with results. For example, you can get the, some reports here that are very detailed. Okay, here with all the results for the different reverberation, impact sound, uh, acoustic insulation against the outdoor noise, indoor noise, etc. All the material properties and lists used in this job. This is nice because you can get like a a quantity report of the, the constructive element used in the job. This is also nice. What else? Apart from energy analysis, acoustic analysis, lighting analysis, for example, another building. We here, once we import a 3D building as the same of the rest of the, the models of the rest, the rest of the applications, we can provide here natural and artificial lighting. We use an, a very commonly worldwide use uh, engine solver. This is Radiance, the same as, for example, I am sure you have heard about Dialux. We use Radiance as, a, as an energy analysis engine for lighting analysis. You can make artificial, uh, internal and emergency lighting analysis or daylight analysis also. You can make a daylight analysis calculations. So you provide your internal uh, lighting fixtures in your job. There are some tools in order to linear distribution, circular distribution. For example, 
for the different lighting fixtures, you have a little database inside the software. This is a very simple database. Or you can import external databases from IES or LDT formats from European or uh, American, uh, for example, uh, suppliers or manufacturers. So this is something you can provide from external databases. You can create your own, even your own LinkedIn fixtures, but normally we export from other results. And even once this is already calculated, if I view results, uh, we can consult. Uh, I have already calculated before the, save, the webinar. So here you can consult the same results. According to these codes, we, you can even do the same. You can simulate any regulation of the world with your own limits according for the uh, energy efficiency value, if you want to limit it, the unified clear rating, the daily factor, or even the um, uh, average maintained or horizontal illuminance, everything is customizable according to the general parameters. Even you can limit the, to the maximum total power of the building, and here you can create your own criteria. This is, for example, I have used the European codes with these parameters for a normal lighting and emergency lighting. Here you have some predefined uh, regulations, European, Spanish and Portuguese. Obviously, in the future, we can increase the number of flags according to different countries or regions, but you can simulate your own. Here you can consult the results. Even you can click on a room and see the checks, general data of a particular room, if everything is match or not according to the compliance I have set in the general parameters. Or even I can obtain a global report here. I have a report. Uh, I don't want to update the results. And here you can consult the calculation annex. This is also really nice because we can consult the details of calculation of each room with the number, with the quantity, the quantity of the different fixtures, lighting fixtures used in each room. Here we have the calculated luminance values, the worst case scenario, emergency lighting, etc. Everything detail. And at the end of the all the calculation annex, you will have the curve, the photometric curves used in the job with the different uh, lighting fixtures used. Okay. So that's it. And uh, well, here you can make renders if you want, new views, update results, etc. And even in the 3D view you can uh, see the what's inside the building. Let's see the here in the 3D view of the building. I can deactivate the beam model, for example, and see what's inside. And here you can consult, um, well, the different lighting fixtures with the photometric curve, the work planes with the contour maps, illuminance normal lighting, glare unified grading here, even you can consult the contour lines, even instead of the contour maps or numerical values, as you can see here. It's very simple. So, floor, floor by floor, story by story, you are going to make the design of the different elements. Okay, this is another another tool. What else can I do? For example, uh, for fire protection, I can show you this, uh, this application. This is SciFire Hydraulic Systems in order to design uh, SciFire sprinkler installations or fire hose reels. For example, in this case, I have uh, read the, um, the city hall I have created in the, in the Ben Servetto Center platform. I have provided here in general options according to NFPA 13 codes. There are European codes or Singaporean codes. Even, but remember that you can simulate your own codes, even for the different hazards that you have according to your regulations, you can edit and modify the different uh, parameters or uh, requirements of the different codes. So you can do it wherever you want here. Design density, I can establish or set my own criteria of calculations. The minimum duration of water supply, the minimum design flow according to this formula or a particular workflow in liters per minute, whatever. For the fire hose reel, the same thing. I can establish and limit the design flow or whatever. 
So once I establish the sprinklers design the, is of the species types here, I establish the, the each hazard for each room type. I want to provide a sprinkler design or firehose reel, wherever I want to provide. Maybe some of them, they are not non requirements because I'm not going to be install any uh, any network of other sprinklers. Also, there are seismic analyses according to NFPA 13. You can uh, modify the criteria of calculation according to Darcy Weisbach or Hudson Williams. The automatic generation of fittings, this is something really nice. You can generate the automatic fittings for each piece of, of pipe in the job, hangers and seismic, seismic analysis. For example, here I have made this design of a sprinkler. There are some tools in order to generate automatic distribution of a sprinkler, branches, cross main. This is a very, very powerful software. And here in the 3D view, you will see the design. This is my tank, water tank, the group pressure group in a simplification. And here you have the design of my sprinkler network. Even I can animate the spray pattern. This is a, for the moment, it's a simple representation. In the future, we will increase and improve this representation of the flow of the particles, spray pattern. Here we have the hangers, also all the piping with the different uh, accessories or fittings in a simplified or a simplified representation in the 3D. But here I can console information. For example, accessories standard T. This is the piping with the with the white, the pipe size, the catalog, friction factor, etc. So if I double click here or I console the results. OK, I can click in a pipe and see the results of a piping with the different accessories. Or I can click in a particular sprinkler here, for example, with this icon, I can consult the results. This is all the checks of the sprinkler according to an FPA 13 or the codes I'm simulating in the general parameters or general options of the job. Obviously, there are distances between the, the sprinklers and between them, also distance from walls minimum and maximum distance from walls, etc. Everything is exportable and printable, as you as you can see here. Some checks that are not required, for example, I have make a design of a sprinkler here that not cover the whole area of the room. I should increase the number of sprinklers or make another design, for example, manually or whatever I want. Okay, so here, what I can I get here? The reports. In the reports, we can get the project, of the hydraulic system installation. Here, the hydraulic analysis. This is the flow test summary according to the pressure group. And here we have the notes. Let me make zoom out. The notes and justification of each note. The, um, <clears throat> the piping with the length, the flow, etc. Remember that all the units are changeable. Here it's in bars, in meters per second, and liter per minute. But if you want to change the units, you can do it. For example, here in the unit, you can change for IP system or international system globally or individually. For example, in the flow, instead of liter per minute, you can make gallons per minute, or even in the pressure, you can work with P PSI or um, water meter column, feet um, water column, whatever you want, or kilopascals or whatever. Okay, and the accuracy, even you can modify and change it. You can customize it. You can obtain the drawings also of the in 2D as we we I show you before in another application. For example, for this, can not show the DXF. Here, all the drawings of the templates of the this sprinkler with the information of the diameter of each piping, a legend, and the tank, and the pressure groups. Okay, here we have a legend with the sprinklers, the quantity used in this job and the symbols table here. Okay, so here in this case I'm connected to this project. Remember, don't lose the um, the, uh, the, the, the beginning where we started from IFC Builder in this case and we had here the international map webinar where it's store the 3D model. So now what I'm going to do is export in order to see the results. Here I'm going to export the results to the IFC.
it's exporting now the results to the floor plans, obviously, in CD, DXF, and GWG to the project. And now there is a tool here, it's free and it's also normally used, installed by the software. And here, this is tool is the synchronizer. The synchronizer, you will uh, always, when you install any application on the CYPE, you will install the synchronizer and it's going to um, synchronize all the, the project results with the, its applications. As you can see, it's uploading the file. Now it's uploading the results from these applications to the platform. So now we will see in just a few seconds, we can, uh, with, I'm going to refresh. I think it's finished more, well, not yet. Let's wait just a few seconds. And once it's finished, now, now it's finished. I'm going to refresh here. And we will see the, inf the results from a hydraulic system installation. So just an example in order you to see that here we have the fire extinguishing installation. I'm going to make transparent the 3D and now you see the results in the platform. Obviously not only in GLTF format in 3D view, now here you can make the cuts or whatever you want to, to do here, for example, sorry, um, clip planes, for example, this one is going to, and see what is inside the design but if you don't want to the if you want to consult the, the files i'm going to the files tab and here we will see the file extinguishing installation gltf drawings all the elements the open formats not the, the native uh, file we have used the material list and the pdf project this is something also very nice the material list in pdf which so with all the piping all the accessories, all the loop hangers, still and um, quantities of the different uh, installation and the accessories also. And in just to end uh, with this tool and in general, we you have another tool that is very interesting, bill of quantities. We can generate not only the quantities, but we can make with a cost database. I can we can generate ourselves or import it from external databases in different formats. Uh, we can make a mapping between what is in a projected in installation and what is inside the cost database. And we can attribute prices and job units and tasks to the, the labor units, the, the plant list, the material list to the different elements. So here we have the sprinklers highlighted also in the job, 42 sprinklers with this price and the total amount. This is the material execution budget of this fire protection installation. In this case, accessories, for example, is not no price. I have no price in my database. So I, I have not, I have the quantity, but not the price because I have not attributed or mapped in my mapping. And here I can obtain uh, in the bill of quantity reports, the bill of quantities uh, reports, for example. Also very nice, sprinklers, quantity, rate, amount etc. This is very, very good. We can change the, 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 in general data, the currency, for example, here I haven't established, but for example, we could make it in euros or in US dollars, for example, in order to get the information in a particular currency. Okay. So, well, there are many, many other tools, for example, for site plumbing uh, here uh, in the suite, we have another tool in, and with this, I finish the webinar. If you want, I will try to answer the questions. For site plumber, what is systems and sanitary systems? There are other tools, They're very interesting also. Even for example, I can open an example. It's very similar, the use and the handling of this software as the sci-fi hydraulic systems. But we are working to water supply installations and in sanitary systems, we are working about wastewater and sanitary systems, in rainwater installations. Here you have both tools, site plumbing water systems, sanitary systems. In the platform also, there are some other tools, extra tools for site plumbing solar systems in order for the contribution of the solar domestic hot water production. For example, this office is building, according to the, um, I think it's model with the uh, Spanish code, but this is also very nice. And the automatic size and the... 
Okay, this is site plumbing water installations. Here you have the 3D, for example. This is an example already modeled. For example, well, exactivate. Uh, sorry, this one. Okay, so you, you can see here the water supply, the supply installation point connection with the public network, the water meter. This is the distribution inside. For example, we could make a just a cut here and see what is inside with the different elements. Even you can see here the hydraulic installation of the sprinklers. Here you can see the piping inside this wet room, for example. Okay, I can deactivate the beam model and consult only the information here. This piping, it's a polypropylene piping with 25 millimeters cold water. Also, we can consult this um, vertical piping for 25 or 30 millimeters insulation, etc., for hot water and so on. We can consult instead of viewing single lead filament, we can consult the 3D view in a real rep representation, okay, with the real diameter of the piping. This is also nice. And each piece of pipe, we can consult the checks, hydraulic analysis, and consult the checks of each, of each pipe. Okay, this is it. We can uh, even inside the graphical analysis with the pressure loss of each span, the velocity. For, well, sorry. Let's analyze firstly. And here we could consult the velocity in this case, or if, or well, the pressure loss of each span, the gross flow, for example, of each element. This is the gross flow, obviously, in the main in the start of the installation, okay, etc. This is it. And in general settings, as you can see here, I always insist you can simulate any regulations all over the world. You here by default. Now I cannot do it because there is already a regulation or a compliance. But you can uh, import British standard, uh, European standards, uh, even Spanish, uh, French, uh, etc. There are different standards in order you can preset by default or even you can modify well, with your own criteria. Okay. So, uh, well, I think I overpassed, I exceeded a little bit the time. Now I'm, I'm going, to, I'm tr I will try to answer some of the, of the, the questions. If you want to ask any other further questions, now is the time. Okay. So I see some questions in the, in the chat. For example, uh, some of you asked about the, um, the original IFC, if we can delete, normally in the platform, every, every file, every IFC file, it's uh, owned by the, uh, well, the owner of the project or the, or the responsible who has developed each speciality. So the IFC file, it's only um, manageable or you can only delete if you are the owner of the project or if you are the, the responsible each specialty. If I'm the responsible, for example, of the site, the plumbing, the water supply installation, I won't be able to delete other specialty of other colleague. If I'm the owner of the project, obviously I will be able to erase or delete or modify whatever IFC from each uh, tool, okay? But normally, the, the in order to modify uh, whatever information what over open format here we will have to go to the the own the native uh, the original application who has developed it, modify the analysis and export again the IFC file if we want to modify if we want to delete as I said inside the platform we can modify uh, delete some of the elements uh, another question I see uh, well in according to the thermal load cooling load analysis, yes, for hypothermic load calculations, we use ASRAE calculations methodology, RTSM. As you can see here, uh, for the cooling loads and uh, well, the methodology for the cooling load uh, calculations procedure is the, um, the RTSM methods from ASRAE, not the CLTD, is the RTCM, okay? Uh, another question of another, well, this is um, all generated without CEPICAD MEP. CEPICAD MEP, it's another software. 
it's more a thought about the traditional way to work with different regions of country, but the for international purposes in English versions, it's more uh, appropriate to work with these open BIM applications. In the suite, you have also these traditional tools, Epic and MEP, but uh, we prefer to promote uh, this open BIM application because they are in the open BIM workflow, I updated in real time, connected to the 3D and uh, and separated the calculations with, with the modeling. We separate both uh, stages of the building design. <clears throat> okay, where other for electrical design? Yes, for example, if someone is talking about uh, electrical design, if you use, for example, for electrical design, you have uh, here in the platform. I'm going to search for electrical design applications. And here we will have, well, I can show you even electrical installations. Here we have Cypelec Core in order to, get, uh, to uh, make designs of Schema, the Onif, uh, yeah, uh, Schema, Onifler Schema. Uh, for example, I'm going to open uh Cypelec core as you can see here and the Cypelec electrical mechanism because someone is talking about, about the the mechanisms and the the button the commutators and the different commanders of the different electrical installations you got, we have to use a Cypelec electrical mechanisms i'm going to also show you Cypelec core here we have, um, sorry, because I have so many tools opened here. So for Cypelec uh, elect, Electrical Mechanisms and Cypelec Core. Uh, sorry, I'm going to minimize this. Well, I'm going to close any of the applications because I cannot find, Cyp yes, Cypelec Core here. Well, it's here. Really. This is Cypelec Core. This is the low voltage schema, single line schema. And here is where you can see make your, make your low voltage design. And here you can calculate, analyze and on the level of your circuits. Uh, you can do it manually here, the design of the circuits here, or import it from Cypelec Distribution, another design, another tool for designing uh, story by story the distribution of your circuits. Here you can consult any particular codes according to the IEC or ANSI standards, and you will see the different verifications here of each line for the different, for the short circuit, for the current current capacity, the different con protection of the different conductors or cables, and also view the complete listing of the calculation of each circuit here. With all the calculations and the formula just uh, ver uh, verifying the different requirements. Okay, so this is the the low single the low voltage installations with a single line design, and also in Cypelec electrical mechanisms, you can provide the different elements here. Well, we can view with the symbology, and here you will provide the, for example, the lactin points here, or the envelope, or the mechanisms. Here, the mechanisms you have different type of mechanism switches double switches and plugins, etc. Okay, like a light regulator or even a push button, etc. Or even television or a radio uh, or telephone, USB, etc. Okay, so you can provide your own mechanisms here and it will be exported to Cypelec distribution and Cypelec distribution to low voltage installation Cypelec core. So there is a Cypelec suite workflow that you could use in order to make electrical installation designs, okay? So, oh, finally, yes, something, someone uh, asked for Duckboard. Yes, uh, I forgot and it, I think it's nice to see. Here we have Cyp HVAC that work in order to make that work design. This is a 3D design uh, tool. This is also nice. I'm going to remove, for example, the visibility of the different elements, architectural modeling elements. This is a 3D design. I can show how the, the ducts 
for example, I can automatic size or verify the results. This is also the different floor plans and design. For example, we can make here fans in order to make a supply network. Here there's all the fans here, for example. Here we have a fan with a board supply network and the socks network. And each piece of duct here we can click on here and we can console the checks and see the loss of linear pressure that someone was asking in the chat, the pressure drop of ducting. This is automatic size by the software. This is also really, really good with this formula and with this as right duct design criteria for each of the of the pieces of the duct works for exact exhaust and supply of the different elements. And this is really, really nice. Okay. And also, uh, we can, uh, for the moment, or we can make grills, diffusers, um, according to the duct, duct types here in, in ducts, we can generate, for example, we have different typologies, flexible ducts. We have also a glass fiber or galvanized steel plate or PVC. In the future, I hope uh, we will have more we will have more suppliers and more types typologies of ducting in order to get here the, the presets. But even though you can create your own typology here with your general properties, what you really need is a roughness coefficient and the dimension property if it's round or rectangular, you can create your own material, your fabric duct or textile that you can create your own, okay? So this is what you can do. For the same for the diffusers and the grills. And also the this the lesser the element with localized pressure drosses, this is something we are improving. For the moment, you can do uh, introduce manually a value of pressure drops or as right codes from as right. You can go ahead here and from as right codes, you have all the junctions, elbows, T, transitions, reductions, etc. from the different as right codification. So you can, uh, for each element, for example, in 2D, let's go. So if you have here a T, for example, you can go ahead here and introduce as right T, for example, for a particular, um, sorry. There is some T of type, for example, this one with this width and height, and we could even introduce the T this accessory here, okay? So in this case, we will be able to see this accessory in the elements, okay? This is it. In the future, we're preparing a, a functionality in order to get provide these accessories automatically, and it may be, why not, in the CDB represent them in an actual uh, design, okay? like uh, really more realistic or a uh, design of the, even though this, you have open beam systems for this purpose, for example, uh, open beam over or open beam ursa for a real representation of ducting for the pieces and the fittings, you know, if you get the real representation, okay? But for the moment you have this generic software is very good, is type of type archback that works. And the reports and here with the ducting, you will get all the information here. Okay. So any any anything else? Any questions for in order to finish the webinar? We have a seat <laughs> 20 minutes, but well, sorry about that. But I thought that it was nice to to introduce a little bit an overview of all the MEP building facilities tools that we have developed for the moment for SIP tool for SIP suite. I hope that I answered more or less all the questions on the on the chat. So if uh, if anyone doesn't want to add anything else, we can anyway I will give you for example the technical support department for international messages uh, technical consultations or technical queries support um, at site.com for anyone you have here. This is the technical support department address. In order you, if you want to consult anything about the MEP or structural or architectural 
SIP tools or according to anything. If you want to consult us uh, for international purposes, you, you, can cons you can write to us through that address. So, if, if anyone doesn't want to any, anything, I think for uh, on my part, I have finished with the webinar today. Webinar of MEP. Tomorrow you will have uh, you will be have another colleague of mine talking about um, open mean quantities and open mean model checker. You will find I hope you will find interesting tomorrow's webinar. The same as I hope you will find you have found useful today's webinar. Thank you very much uh, for your attendance today, for your patience. Sorry about the, <laughs> the really fast uh, overview of our today, but as you can see in the beginning, we have more than 150 applications. It's impossible to in one hour, but more or less uh, the idea was today, the target of today was to introduce a little bit the open beam tools of CYPE and the MEP solutions that we have developed for fire protections, energy analysis, acoustic analysis, lighting, um, HVAC equipment, and selection, ducting design, etc. So, uh, take care of you, uh, be safe, according to, I hope all of you are safe wherever you are. Uh, about the situation, it's very complicated uh, nowadays, so please take care of you and your families, and I hope to see you in future webinars in this platform or wherever we are. Okay, thank you very much for your attendance today and for your patience and have a, the rest of today. Have a nice day. Bye.